Hi guys. So I have been asked if I could do a short tutorial on how to get started on the Tunisian sampler saw that we're doing for the Nina's TCAL 2024. So here we go. I'm going to get you through the foundation row and the first three setup rows. And once you get through that, you should be able to get through the rest of this pattern without any problems. So put a slip knot on your hook any way you want to do it and loosely chain three. One, two, and three. So the foundation row, you know, turn your work. We're going to work into those back bumps. We're not going to work into the first stitch, but we are going to yarn over and make an increase. Into the second stitch, we're going to insert our hook and pull up a loop. Now we're going to yarn over again and make a second increase. And then we're going to work into that last back bump and that is the setup row, the foundation row, and you should have five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five. That middle loop, that is our center state, our center stitch. That one, I if I were you, I would stick my stitch marker in there right now so that you will always know where that stitch is. I need to think I need a better stitch marker. This one's so with your five loops on your hook, you're just gonna do a regular return pass. There's no fancy return passes in this uh pattern. Just yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. Oops, I went through too many. And there you go. I have one left on my hook, okay? So setup row number one is really easy. There's your first stitch. We never work into that. You know that that's Tunisian. Into the space between the first and the second stitch, that's where you're going to insert your hook and do a full stitch. That's your increase number one. Then you're going to Tunisian simple stitch into that stitch that's next. And now you're at the center. Now here's where it gets tricky because at the beginning it's hard to see. But you don't want, to, you want to make sure that you're not going into the stitch, in the center stitch. You want to get into that space. So make sure that you're into the space to do another full stitch. And there we have our second increase. Now into that center stitch, we're going to do the knit stitch. So you're splitting the front and back um, legs of the stitch to do the knit stitch. Move your stitch marker up. Now, again, this is a, it gets a little tricky here, but make sure that you're not working into the stitch, the front and the back. You're going into the space between the, the knit stitch and the stitch next to it. Then you're going to simple stitch that one now we're going to do one more increase. So we're going to go into that space, yarn over and pull up a loop like a full stitch and then into the last stitch, the end stitch, you're gonna make sure you get both of those. You're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should have nine loops on your hook at this point. And that's what I have. Do your regular return pass. Yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. Okay, so that was setup row number one. Setup row number two is basically the same row, and we'll work it together. So Again, never into that first stitch. You're gonna skip that first stitch. You're gonna get that space, right? And we're gonna do a full stitch right in there. And you're gonna insert your hook and pull up a loop for a full stitch. Then we're going to Tunisian simple stitch into the next three stitches till we get to that center stitch. And now we're going to get into that space and do another full stitch. 
So now we've done the two increases, one at the beginning, one in the center. And we're gonna knit stitch that center stitch. Move your stitch marker back into place so we don't lose that. And then we're going to get into that space next to the knit stitch before the next stitch and do a full stitch. So insert your hook, pull up a loop. And now we're going to simple stitch the next three. One, two, and three. And we're going to do our final increase between this last stitch and the end. You're going to get into that space and do a full stitch. So insert your hook and pull up a loop. And then into the last stitch, we're going to turn our work if you need to and get into that last stitch where you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. You should have 13 according to the stitch count. And now we're going to just do the return pass. It's very easy to, the, the uh, yarn overs tend to get lost. Do not forget to get those yarn overs when you're doing your forward pass. That's where you're going to lose your stitch count, I think. Just make sure that you're ca catching all of the stitches on your forward pass. Okay, so <clears throat> setup row number three is the exact same thing, but we're going to end up with 17 stitches on our hook this time. So again, never into, oh, let's get in the camera here. Never into this one. Insert your hook for a full stitch. This time we're going to do a simple stitch to the center. Don't, for, see, there's that. There's the yarn over. Don't forget that increase, that yarn over. And there's the yarn over for the center increase. Don't forget that one. And now we're at the center. We're going to get in there and do a bull stitch. Into the center, we're going to do a knit stitch. We're going to move our stitch marker up. Make sure you get in, you pull that back down a little bit tight. Get into that space between the knit stitch and the next full, uh, simple stitch for the space to do a full stitch for your increase. And then we're going to increase. We're going to work back down. One, two, three, four. Don't forget that yarn over because that's the one you're going to forget. And then into that space, we're going to do a full stitch. And then we're going to do our end stitch where we've got both of them on the end. And this time we should have 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yarn over, pull through the first one. And then do your return pass like normal all the way down. And that, you guys, is the foundation. Now, you're going to just uh, keep doing that. If you're changing colors, um, if you're ch doing the all eight color version, here's where you're going to change colors. So before you finish this row, you're going to change. Here's where you would change to color B. You would pull color B through here and then continue with color B. I'm not color changing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull through. So, you guys, that's it. That's the setup row. Let me get this paper out of the way so you can see. That's the setup row. And it's, make sure that you're moving your stitch marker up, but you can see what a cute little triangle this is gonna make and how cute these stitches are gonna look. You can do this. If you have any other questions, leave me a comment. I'll answer them as best as I can. Uh, good luck. Uh, have fun with this. And we'll talk to you later.